Hi, I'm Lily Guinness and I want to tell you about the creation of the world's first automated singing handbag. If I were a blackbird. Amazingly enough, 2009 is my anniversary, my 20th anniversary. I wanted to do something to market that was slightly different. I mean, yes, have a party, great, and celebrate. And then we came up with the idea of a scholarship. So I spoke to London College of Fashion, and they come up with this MA in Artifact, which is pushing the boundaries of accessories. And so we're launching the scholarship at the party, and we're exhibiting the um, amazing designs by a lot of the students. So then I have to come up with a bag that is, um, this is why I'm saying working with work young people is great because it pushes you forward. I'd always wanted to do an automated bag. I had this idea if I could make the bird cage with a bird that, that sang and flapped its wings, that would be my dream. Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> I got together with Adam Wright, who I got to know through his work with Hussein Chalayan, and he's amazing how he can make things. He does animatronics for films, but he loves working in fashion. There is now four lights, because the way the circuitry works... My involvement is to take Lulu's idea of putting some mechanics into a bag, showing what's possible, but then also ping-ponging ideas around about um, What's, what's beyond what she was thinking. So these little things here are just little motors, and they, is a little lash up, and they just pop up and down and make the bird work. Fantastic. So that, the process like anything is sketches like this, sketches like this, and, uh, and then slight misunderstanding maybe, or you go make a model, or until you actually physically make some models, how are you gonna resolve the bit at the bottom, this big, or this big, and then we suddenly quickly get round to where we're at. No one's going to say, oh, that reminds me of something. Oh, that looks just like X or Y. Hopefully people are really going to be like, my God, you know, how... That's incredible. I never would have thought of that. Um, I, I want it to be something people have never seen before. Mechanical bird cages, it's clock making, essentially. It's clock making skills. So I've had to delve into their world of um, tiny, tiny little mechanics. This little, little, lovely little gizmo here replaces a lot of all that. So, you see that? And what you do is you program it just like a little recording, and then when you press play, it, it will do the movement back. It is my dream to always do something that no one else has done before, and so I have to keep pushing that. So, the idea of moving handbags is something that um, appeals to me. In the lid of this, not only there's a mirror, there's four lights, but there's going to be a little speaker, and that's going to be connected to this board, and we're going to record um, a bird sound on this. But the, the sound we like the best is a cheeky blackbird. I never want uh, fashion to be too serious. I think it's something in the world that should be more light-hearted and have some wit to it. His wings are moving perfectly, his yeah. beak's moving perfectly. I don't know, I just think it's amazing. Love, isn't it? It's turned out even better than I could have imagined. It's, it's just got a sort of magic quality to it. It's been a quite, uh, it's ten, ten weeks, you know, from start to finish. Um, but I am really pleased with it. Ultimately, it still looks, at the end of the day, like a Ludwig Guinness handbag. I love showing this bag for the first time to people. It's really enjoyable. I'm really, really happy. And it looks fabulous. Thank you, Adam. Okay.